Hello, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, if you've been following my channel, I purchased an MSI RTX 3090 Ventus 3X, and it was just one of those things where there was a deal at the time, and this was about six weeks ago, where it was about $1,800, which I figured was too good to miss out on, even though I already had a RTX 3080 at that point, but I think I got greedy and decided to get the RTX 3090 anyway on the proviso that I was going to mine with it on the side and get some money back that way. That's why I got it. I would never have got it if I was just going to drop $1800 on it straight up. Anyways, to cut a long story short, I found the RTX 3090 got quite hot during mining. At default settings, it just shoots straight to 104 degrees Celsius, where it thermally throttles. Every card throttles at different points, I believe. I've seen some cards throttle at 110 degrees Celsius. I found out from Igor's lab that G6X can get really hot, and Tiago over at Classical Technology found similar issues while video editing, and I've seen many mining channels get similar temperatures. To learn more about this, you can watch my video from about a month ago titled Don't Buy an RTX 3090 for Mining, or gaming and in that video it goes through temps in mining as well as temps in cyberpunk 2077 and also looks at the rtx 3080 which has g6x memory as well i've also done a video on underclocking undervolting a gpu and looked at the results of this in cyberpunk 2077 so make sure to check out those videos and i've also tried to max out the vram in ms flight sim 2020 though even though that is a really heavy VRAM game. I could only manage using 13.5 gigabytes of VRAM, which saw the temperatures reach a maximum of 88 degrees Celsius. That brings us to today's video because I couldn't max out the VRAM in MS Flight Sim. I wanted to at least try to use up all 24 gigabytes of VRAM on the 3090 to see if that had an effect on the temperatures. And one way to use as much VRAM as possible is to mod your game. So I chose the game with the most mods, which was Skyrim. Now, I have to apologize because I'm not a Skyrim expert. So I basically loaded it up with as many mods as I could. And because my character is such a low level, the gameplay in this video is not all that exciting. So you're just going to have to enjoy the scenery in this video. That said, Skyrim modded to the max is a pretty good looking title despite the low frame rate. So just to get it out of the way and not waste anyone's time too much, the maximum amount of VRAM I got to was 22 gigabytes of VRAM at one point, though this was really only for a split second when the game was loading stuff in and out, but I did get to 21 gigabytes for a while. At this point the VRAM temperatures got to 92 degrees Celsius, so it was getting toasty, but not as hot as what Tom's hardware got when they tested Metro Exodus at 4K and got 104 degrees Celsius. So it seems like it's not only about using the amount of VRAM, but it also probably depends on the work rate of the VRAM if it is moving data in and out really quickly and at what speeds, which is why temps get so high during mining because it's accessing the memory constantly. I also want to talk a bit about the mods I used here, so if people want to do something similar, they can. I'm not going to put out a whole mod list because I used over 60 mods and it would take me way too long to list them, but I basically used every 8K and 4K texture that I could find on nexusmods.com. I used the Skyrim Reengaged ENB, and ENB stands for Enhanced Natural Beauty Mod, but effectively it's just a bunch of post-processing that goes over the top of the main game's processing and is really GPU intensive. I'm also playing at 5K because that's the maximum NVIDIA control panel allows me to play at for the dynamic super resolution setting. As you can see the ENB tanks the game's performance where I'm mostly getting 30 FPS outdoors. This is important for maxing out the VRAM temp, as the GPU core temp stays hot because of the RTX 3090 heatsink design and how the one heatsink is cooling both the GPU core and the VRAM, the VRAM also stays warm too. Dropping the GPU core temp allows the GPU memory junction temperature to cool down and we want to see how it fares at its most demanding. While 60 something mods isn't a very long list when compared to a hardcore Skyrim fans mod list, I did feel like I started to run out of GPU intensive mods. 
after a while. There's only so many grass, snow, mountain, tree, armor, weapons, NPC face, hands, feet, textures one can mod before they start to repeat. Not only that, but the rules for loading mods in order starts getting complicated. I could have tried maxing out the VRAM by downloading more mods, but by the end of downloading all of this stuff, and it took me about three weeks to do it all, I was getting very diminishing returns. I'd say maxing out 24 gigabytes of VRAM would probably only boost temps by another two degrees if that. Anyways, I still stand by my initial recommendation to most people to not buy an RTX 3090. The RTX 3090 uses G6X that gets hot in mining, and your solutions for reducing temps are basically to turn the fans up, which make it really noisy and uncomfortable for others if not yourself. Especially for people who have a PC in their bedroom, it can be quite noisy at 90 to 100% fan speed and mining away at night. You can always water cool, but it'll cost you extra. The other thing, of course, is if you're like me and you want to run it below 90 degrees Celsius, you're probably going to be doing a lot of babysitting of this card. In every game you play, you're going to be monitoring the temps. I'd argue there isn't even a real pressing need for a card like an RTX 3090 in all but a handful of games and at 4K resolution. If that's you and you can live with the issues, by all means, go for it. I have one more video in this testing RTX 3090 series where I'll install a fan and some heat sinks on the back side of the card to see if that alleviates some of the temperature concerns. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that video. I'll see you guys in the next one.